Welcome. My name is Sabrina Paganoni, and I am the principal investigator of the CENTAR trial. Hello, my name is Merit Sukovic. I'm director of the Sean M. Healy and AMG Center for ALS at Mass General Hospital. I was very happy to work with you on the CENTAR study. I'm really excited to be here today and to talk about the positive results of the CENTAR trial that you led that's just been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. This is really a landmark study in ALS, and it was amazing to be part of it and to see it come together and see your leadership of this trial. Let's talk about the benefits experienced by people in the study. I'm really happy that we saw positive results in this trial. Participants who were treated with a study drug called AMX35 did better than those who received placebo. Over a six month period, participants who received the drug retained higher levels of function for longer. How do we measure function in ALS? We use a rating scale to measure independence with activities of daily living that matter to patients, such as the ability to walk, hold a pen, or swallow food. This is very hopeful news for people affected by ALS, especially because we were able to see a treatment effect in a relatively short period of time. That's really amazing. Um, can you tell us more about the drug? What was it tested? How does it work? The drug is called AMX35. It protects against nerve degeneration by using a propriety combination of two medications that each target a different cell component to keep the nerve functioning properly. What is really amazing is how this partnership developed with the drug manufacturer, Amelix Pharmaceuticals. Merit, you were integral in this process. Why don't you tell everyone how it came about? Thank you. This is such a good story, and it shows how having a community um, of investigators studying ALS can help anyone with a good idea for people with ALS. So I met Josh and Justin, who are the co-founders of Amelix, when they uh, were at Mass General Hospital talking to Dr. Rudy Tanzi. They had reached out to Dr. Tanzi, one of our amazing faculty, with their idea of combining these two drugs, Hudka and uh, phenobutrate, for um, Alzheimer's disease, actually. And he was uh, helping them with their ideas and their science. And I was over there with, Dr. with Mr. Peter Foss from the ALS Finding a Cure Foundation to meet Rudy because we wanted to talk about ways that ALS foundations and Alzheimer's foundations could work together. And there were Josh and Justin, and, I, and Rudy said, listen to their idea. It's really good. So I listened to that, and I said, what? why don't you also do this in ALS? This is such a great idea. Come and meet people in our Northeast ALS Consortium. Tell them your idea, and you can get some input from all the experts, including uh, people at Mass General Hospital. So they came to our science board of meals, and they presented their idea, and people thought it was great. Everybody was eager to help them, including us. And so uh, we helped them with some ideas on science. And uh, Sabrina, with your leadership, helped them design the trial and found the sites in our consortium and have been really working with them from day one. It's, it's just such a great story. They're wonderful. They're brilliant. Um, but they also were very open to having help from people who have been studying ALS for decades and uh, were eager to help um, them get their idea forward to testing in people. Yeah, this story is such a testament to how we do research here at MGH, never taking no for an answer and collaborating with other experts in industry, foundations, and academia, and of course, our patients and their families. Yes, I agree. This is, this is ultimately how we're going to find all the treatments for people with ALS. So maybe we could talk about the next steps in the process with AMX035 and the open label extension trial. An open label extension means that participants who completed the trial we're given the option to receive AMX35 long-term. This is important because it will teach us about the impact of the drug on survival. We've been following them for as long as three years now, and I look forward to sharing the results of this open label extension with all of you in the near future. I'm really hoping, hopeful that people with ALS will have access to AMX35 quickly, because we all know that we don't have wait, time to wait. Uh, we hear from our patients that, that, that we need to be on the ALS clock, and uh, we believe in that, and that's why we help them so quickly uh, bring their, their treatment forward to people with ALS. Um, I'm sure we'll be sharing updates with people as, as we learn more about the next steps, and thank you, Sabrina, for leading the study and being here today to discuss it. And thank you, Mary, for making all of this possible. Thank you.